The Shadow Beast Every night, Mum kisses me on the forehead and turns out the light. It's half past ten and it'll be witching hour soon. The clock on the wall lights up on the time. And if I don't get to sleep soon, it'll reach eleven, then twelve. The problem is, however tired I am, I can't get to sleep. There's something in the room with me that only comes out at night. Something that neither mum nor dad can see. They check under the bed, in the wardrobe, behind the door, and assure me there's no one there, but they don't know a thing. They never think to lie here where I do and look around to see what I see when the room goes dark. You can only see him in the dark. The street light through the curtains summons him to the corner of the bookshelf, and he sits there at night, watching me, waiting for me to fall asleep. Well, I won't. I can't. When mum and dad are here, he's gone. He only comes out when I'm alone. I've lost more sleep than I can remember. I go to school and I'm exhausted. I nap in the afternoons to make up for it. He doesn't come out before tea, even in the winter. Not when I can leave the door open onto the landing. They try to send me to a doctor, the kind that talk to you and ask you lots of silly questions. I wish they'd send me to one who could glue my eyes shut so I don't have to see the horrifying sight haunting me every night. The Shadow Beast. The Shadow Beast won't harm me. The Shadow Beast's my friend. The Shadow Beast won't harm me. The Shadow Beast's my friend. It's Sunday night. A new school week starts tomorrow, but even earlier than usual. We're going on a trip to the zoo and I can't wait. I've been looking forward to it for weeks and weeks and I've decided I'm not going to let the monster spoil it for me. I have a plan. I've developed tactics. Tonight will be different. Nothing's going to dampen the joy of seeing the giraffes tomorrow. I love the giraffes. Of all the animals in the zoo, they're definitely my favourite. What's your favourite animal in the zoo, Mr. Shadow Beast? Definitely the, um, crocodiles. No, the monkeys. The monkeys are my favourite by a mile. I love their fur and their long tails and the way they swing between the trees. I like the monkeys too. But I heard they steal your food if you get too close. I like the giraffes because they have beautiful long necks and they look friendlier than any others. Have you ever met a giraffe, Mr. Shadow Beast? Once, when I was very young, it came up to me at Tesco's. I ate it whole. No, that's not true. It was buying lots of lettuce because apparently there aren't many acacia trees in Warrington. Warrington? Is that where you're from? Yes, born and bred. That's funny. My aunt lives there. We're visiting her in the summer holidays. Why did you move here? Because the blood tastes nicer here. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> that was a joke. It's actually because I like playing at the park and going to the ice cream shop. Do you like going to the ice cream shop? Oh, yes. I go there all the time with mum and dad. What's your favourite flavour? Oh, probably children's tears. No, no, don't be silly. Raspberry Ripple. Wow, mine too. We have so much in common, don't we, Mr Shadow Beast? We could be friends. I'd like that. I don't have many friends. Shadow Beasts are lonely, misunderstood people. We're not really scary at all. Why are you always sat there in the corner of my room then? It's what we do. It's our job. Your dad works in the bank. And your mum's a teacher. Well, my job is to sit in the corner of your room at night. But why? Why? To keep you safe, of course. To keep me safe? Yes, in case any monsters decide to come along, I can tear monsters to shred with my bare hands and gobble them up for breakfast. But not children. Never, ever children. Not in a million years. Then why didn't you say something before? I'm sorry. It's just that we're not supposed to talk. We shadow beasts are a shy bunch. I never meant to scare you, I swear.
That's okay, Mr. Shadow Beast. Maybe you can come with me to the zoo tomorrow and we can see the monkeys and the giraffes. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. And we could see the lions and the tigers and the parrots and the lemurs and the bears and the wildebeests and the ostriches and the owls. And maybe we'll buy something from the gift shop at the end. I'll get something for me and something for you too, Shadow Beast. Thank you, that's very kind. But please, call me Colin. Colin? That's a funny name for a Shadow Beast. I was named after that nice man your dad works with. The one who gave you Uno for Christmas. Oh yeah, he's really nice. Almost as nice as you. Thank you for being my friend, Colin. You're welcome. Now, you'd better get off to sleep. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and don't worry, I'll be here to protect you from the monsters. And with that, I feel myself drifting off to sleep. The Shadow Beast won't harm me. The Shadow Beast's my friend. The Shadow Beast won't harm me. The Shadow Beast's my friend. The Shadow Beast's called Colin. The Shadow Beast's my friend. We're going to the zoo tomorrow, and the Shadow Beast's my friend.